Yeah, we're in the sports here with Rudy Hernandez. Uh, tell me, man, um, the bet was made. We talked about it real quick between Canelo Chavez. What was your thoughts on it when you first heard about it, man? Like everyone else's, I mean, <laughs> right? The, what's the first thing everybody thinks? Oh, you can make that way, but you can't make the way. And uh, by the end of the day, it's it's, uh, it's good for business. Yeah. It's good for boxing in the sense that they'll bring a lot of people into the to the arena. A lot of people will watch the fight on on TV, whether it's pay per view in Mexico and worldwide. That's a good. That's the. That's a positive part about it. Now, I hope. I hope that they put a good undercard where like up and coming guys can be seen, so that they could be the next big thing. But those guys have to step up to the step up their game and, and make the public want to watch them as well. What, what were your thoughts, obviously, about the way? Obviously, it, it depends on if Chavez can make it healthily or not, you know, and then how, how uh, effective he'll be. But just being the fact that, like, Canelo didn't want to go up to 160 for Triple G, now he's going up four and a half pounds heavier. Well, that's, that's what I said. Like, the first, our first thought, like everybody else, is like, okay, okay, he can make 164 against Chavez, but he can't make 164 against uh, the left. Yeah. And, uh, and again, like I said, it's business, and at the end of the day, it's good for boxing because we're gonna get, you know, two Mexican fighters fighting each other. You know, Mexican people tend to, you can sell them pretty much anything. <laughs> you know, when it comes to, if you if you told them that that all of a sudden Santa Claus is Mexican, they're like, oh, oh, what? When you didn't know? Yeah, no, you can sell it. I mean, they'll, they'll buy. Right. What do, you, what do you think about the bet that was made today about both their purses, putting up both their purses against each other? You know what? I think, um, I think it's just the heat of the moment. I don't think that... I mean, like I, like I told you earlier, unless they sign a contract where it says, okay, you know what, we're, we're bidding this. We're going to make this official. You know, the winner takes off. That'd be a, you know, but I don't think that, I don't think it's a smart thing to do. Either way, because at the end of the day, he's going to pay the trainer and everybody else. Oh, if that, if we're talking about just his purse? Okay, fine, you know, but, but everybody else, I don't think everybody else wants to be a part of it. It's one of the bad also, right? And I, and I think that Canelo, they don't have a I think it's a little harder for Chavez because you know everything is in everything is in his favor, with the exception of when the bell rings, uh, the weight, Chavez's weight. Will, it can be a factor, but he has to make it a factor. You guys are deep in the camp. Carlos Quadras fighting March uh, 18. Tell me how's it going, man? How's he looking and everything? Carlos is Carlos, and anybody who knows Carlos knows what I'm talking about. Like you know. It's just depends what Carlos shows up. And at the end of the day, you know, everybody does their work, everybody's done what they're supposed to. Now it's Carlos will have to you know, show what he's been doing. I, I asked him earlier, is this fight dangerous? Just being that you're coming off of like a, obviously a super fight with several of people. Obviously that's the fight that you guys want next, but you gotta stay busy. This is, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a good fighter he's fighting, but it's just kind of one of those like dangerous, kind of like you could get caught in a lull type fights. I mean, of course. It, it's, um, you, come, you come from having such a great fight against the, the best fight, 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 one of the best fighters uh, pound for pound, and then you're gonna be finding a guy who's not well known, but has a style to make things difficult. And you know, if you don't prepare yourself 100% for this, then uh, there's a chance that you'll have to pay the consequences, you know, and everybody else involved. I, I don't think it's an easy fight. I don't think, uh, I think it's a, uh, I don't think it's a fight where, where he he um he can shine. You, know? you don't think I, it I don't is? Think, I don't think it's a fight where he can shine and show his best. I think it's um because when you watch what he did against Gonzalez, you know now you're gonna go up against this guy and it's different styles. You know, big different styles and um, so again styles make fight and, and uh, I'm hoping that you know we we get through this one and then. Gonzalez wins as well, and then we can fight next. Wouldn't you, you said it's kind of like, it's one of those fights that he can't look good in, but wouldn't a knockout kind of put uh, be in that category of looking good because the knew it couldn't knock this guy out, and that was his last fight. I mean, wouldn't that be kind of like an exclamation point? Like, look, like 
I can I knocked out the guy that the dangerous dude couldn't. You know what I mean? How about how, how about picture this? That guy is beating Carlos, and Carlos knocks him out with a with an overhand right hand. is a lucky punch. People will call it a lucky punch, right? And um, yeah. and then what and then what will what will be said? Right. Oh, he got lucky. He was getting beat and blah blah. You know, criticism. It's always going to right, freaking be there, man. So at the end of the freaking day, man, it's like you know, do your job, do it the best of your ability, and win. You know, and then hope that the next fight is against Gonzalez, and Gonzalez wins as well. Gonzalez actually in a super tough fight as well. Yes. Uh, how do you he, see that going? But he's not fighting. He's not fighting Quadras. He's fighting a guy who's going to be who's going to stand right in front of him. And guys like him are made for Gonzalez. Of course, the guy hits hard, but Carlos is a whole different breed. Quadras is Quadras is style is. The one that will give Gonzalez a run for his money every time they fight. You know, I think that um, you know they can fight ten times and probably split five five. You know, I, I don't, I don't. Uh, at the end of the day, but now I'm kind of wrong there because I think that next time we're supposed to beat him and we're hoping to knock him out, and then in the rematch knock him out again. You know, <laughs> All right. so, so yeah, we're gonna beat him. <laughs> I, 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 I try to lie a little bit, right. but I can't. It's just too hard. You know, I asked I asked Carlos. The guy kind of getting lost in the shuffle here is, is uh, Francisco uh, Estrada, a guy with Estrada. Yeah. Is that like if, if you can't get the Gonzalez fight? He's not my problem. <laughs> Estrada's not my problem. That's his. That's his problem. That's you know whoever's promoting him and whatever they're doing with him. That's his problem. It's not our problem. Our problem is we didn't get the Gonzalez fight, and it sucks. But uh, but at the end of the day, it's um, you know there's a chance that if we're both if we if we both win, then that fight it's a must. That mm -hmm. you can't go around it anymore. Because it's already a mandatory. Well, for you, and, and I, I was curious about this the first time around, but you're so close to both guys. I mean, you work with both guys. Obviously, you're working primarily with Carlos now, but how difficult was that for you the first time? And, and kind of just even going forward, looking at a rematch, like, is it a little different now that the first fight's over? The first fight was hard because, you know, I've known Gonzalez for, for, for a long time. I don't know more than I had, I had Carlos. And also, um, you know, we're, we're kind of like the, the same team, and I had worked with him a number of times so and I've always wanted him to succeed I've always wanted him to be the, the very best I've, I went on to say that he was better than Arguello like several like three two or three years ago and uh, that's how good I think he is you know but then I got hooked up with Carlos Guadalas and now I have a responsibility to Carlos and, uh, and now it's, the first one was hard. The second time, it won't be. It won't even be uh, uh, an issue, you know. None whatsoever. What? Why is that? Because when that bell rang, that was it. Everything went out the window. I was guiding him to hurt him, to beat him. You know, not personally because it's a, it, it, it's our job. You know, he has a job and he has a job, and but my job is to bring out the best in him. And so, you know, everything. As soon as that bell rang, it changed everything. And now that round 13 will come up, you know, then then. Uh, of course, yeah. I told him, and he'll tell you, I, I told him, I said, if you don't knock him out, it don't count. I told him, you can beat, you can beat him 11 out of the 12 rounds, and you, will, I, I won't accept that belt. You have to give it back to him. You give it back to him. You don't deserve it. Hey, but I beat him 11 out of 12. I don't care. You didn't knock him out. You got to knock him out. That way, I'll feel better, and then, you know, we don't leave it to the judges, and and now you're a step ahead of him because you beat him a decision that means you guys are even right. but you knock him out and we have a we're a step up right. and that's where i want to be <laughs> yeah definitely man well definitely as a fight fan we hope it gets made obviously we hope you guys both win your next prescription fights um and hopefully it gets made man because the first fight was was excellent man. Was well we hope that I hope everything works out. We have a great year. Yeah, definitely. Thank, everyone else. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, man. Okay. Thank you, as always. All right. Bye.